guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you on Back to Basics how to add a lightsaber to just about any photo that looks kind of like this. So you have a photo of yourself holding a pencil in a really awkward position, and you want to make it more interesting, so you think, what the hell, let's make a lightsaber out of it. Well, you're going to find out how to do that. So, yes, I found this random photo on Google.com, and this is the perfect one to show you the tutorial. Um, so you can actually create a lightsaber um, out of really anything as long as your hand's in the motion to hold something. If your hand's not in the motion to hold something, then it probably will work as well. But I will show you another method if that's the case with nothing in your hand. But we'll start off with this particular way. So you're holding a pen, a pencil, or something in your hand, like such. So you want to add a lightsaber or turn it into a lightsaber. How you're going to do this is you're going to grab either your, um, over here you're going to grab either your lasso tool or, which is going to be very simple to use, is your pen tool. This particular tutorial will give you the pen tool because the pen tool will make it lots easier instead of trying to freehand draw it. So go ahead and trace around just the image or the object you're holding on the top part. Okay, now you're going to have to right click this to make a selection. So right click this after you, if, you're, if you're using the pen tool. If you're using the lasso tool, you'll have a selection already there, so you'll be going a step ahead of us. But for those using the pen tool, right click, make a selection. Make sure zero pixels are, are there for your feather because you don't want to have any feather on that. Click OK and you'll see your lovely selection there. Then, if using the pen tool, well, actually, if you're using the um, pen tool and or the lasso tool, go ahead now and do a control J or a command J and duplicate that selection. Awesome. That selection is now on its own layer. Coolness. How are we going to make this into a lightsaber, you're thinking? I swear, we're getting there. So, double, so select that layer now with your, um, thumbnail, so hold down the control key or command key and click on the thumbnail. That will then again make that an active layer. With that active layer, you then want to go ahead and turn that to a white background. Okay. Cool. Now as you'll notice, there's a bit of my pencil still showing, and that's okay because it'll really not even show. Promise you that. So if you have a little bit of your object showing, it's fine. It won't really show through, so you'll be okay with that. So now once you have your, um, object or your selection white, double click on that and you're going to select outer glow. And this is where your little fun senses come into. There are multiple colors you can have for a lightsaber. I've seen blue, I've seen red, I've seen green. I'm going to choose green because I just think green is more lightsaber to me, but if you like the whole red, blues, all that kind of stuff, go for it. Um, Alright, so we're going to select a very light green, very bright green. Any bright green hue you like, or red or blue, or whatever color. Now, you could leave it at screen if that works for your photo, but for me, I'm going to go to normal, because that will then give me the outcome I'm looking for. But again, you may have to choose either normal or screen, it just depends on your photo. But um, normal seems to work best for this particular part. So, okay. Make sure your opacity is 100%, not 75. And now at this point, you're going to play with the spread and the size. This will all depend on your image and what you want for your outcome. So, let's see. Mm. Whoa. That's really lightsabery. Mm. Well, I kind of like that. That looks fine to me, just because I'm that cool person. All right, once you have yours the way you like it, click OK. That's all you got to do. Now, one last step that you may have to do. I don't know. You may, you may not, depending on where your uh, per your um, object is. But in my photo, still a bit of the pencil is showing, so I'm going to add some black to that to make the end of the lightsaber. So go back to your original layer that had the um, pencil or object on it. And you're going to grab your pen tool or lasso tool yet again. 
And this time you're going to go and select just the bottom part of your object that's still showing. If it is, if it's not, that's okay. Why is mine being that way? I have to reset mine because mine's just being really weird. Delete path, yes. Okay. And then again, make your selection if you're using the pen tool. If you're not, your selection will be there, so you can just skip over this. All right, now that you have a selection, and you can go ahead and duplicate this layer yet again if you want, but because we're just making um, one small part, you don't need to unless you want to. But at this point now, you can just go ahead and do a control. You want to turn that layer black. So if black's already in your swatch, do a control backspace or command backspace or whatever. Alt or backspace, whichever one has your black in it. Alt backspace, control D, and voila. You now have a very cool, awesome lightsaber in your photo when you zoom out. Oh yeah, your photo just got 10 times cooler. So if you were bored in your photo, now you probably wouldn't be if you were actually in that photo. If that makes any sense, just said. But yep, there you go. You now have a lightsaber in your photo and now all your friends can make mems out of your photo. Or even you can make a mem out of your photo. Perfect idea, make a mem right now, do it. Yeah. All right, so thanks for watching guys. I hope this was fun, um, awesome and educational for you. Um, if you liked making a lightsaber in your photo, you can hit my like button. I love people that like bit, the like button. Um, if you thought this was at all helpful, hit the like again, or just hit like anyway. Um, if you think you're awesome and you think I'm awesome, hit the like anyway. And again, subscribe because you know you want some more stuff like this. And um, comment if you got questions or suggestions. And you can also inbox me here if you'd like. I do give back in a timely fashion. Maybe not right away, but I will get to you eventually. Don't you worry. I never ignore. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.